Pesach. Pesach. The first is book. Hello friends, it's Shannon here for Friday on Ontario Being YA. And I actually have Peso here with me today. Peso, come here. He's he's a little he's a little tired. He went to the groomer today. There he is. Say hi, Peso. There we go. He has a nice cute bandana on, which makes him look really nice, and he smells really good, so that's a bonus. Um, today I'm just going to talk to you about some contemporary releases that are coming out in January. I don't have a lot that are coming out in December, which is really weird. Um, so I just skipped to January since that's kind of coming up soon, anyways. Um, the first is Love Torn. This is by Kavita Daswani. This one comes from Harper Teen, and it's about a girl who uh, has to move from India to LA, and um, she's been betrothed to a boy, which means she's supposed to marry him. And uh, so she has to deal with that, and you know, it's kind of a culture shock to move from India to LA, I would imagine. So I'm really excited for this one. The Education of Jay Baker. This is by a male author, Jay Clark. Uh, it's got some funny, <laughs> the back says a few sexy bully bullet points about Jay. He's in love with a cheerleader named Cameo Appearance Parnell. He rocks a touche array of pop culture references, jokes, and puns. There's some other. Um, quotes like that on the back, which is, I thought was funny. And as I was flipping through it, I saw that um, the chapter titles are <laughs> are based on songs, but they're not the actual lyrics. So like this one says, Dad likes your butt and he cannot lie. I don't know what that's about, that what this chapter is about, but um, you know, it's based on that Sir mix a lot song. So I thought that was kind of fun. Um, this one's from Henry Holt. Another I'm excited about is Love Maybe by Heather Hepler. This one's got a Valentine's Day theme, which I thought would be pretty cute. Uh, it's got the candy on the front, and there's some candy on the back. Um, and the tagline is, can a girl find true love if she doesn't believe it exists? Everything You Need to Survive the Apocalypse, Apocalypse by Lucas Klaus. I really like this cover. It looks like it was done with cut paper, which I really like, and I like the color red quite a bit. So... Um, this is a male author writing a male protagonist, so that will be a uh, different, um, a little bit different from normal contemporary YA that's been around lately. And this one is from Simon Pulse. Another Simon Pulse that I have is Unraveling Isabel. This is by Eileen Cook. She wrote the education, or um, yeah, the education of Haley Kendrick. It has a yellow cover, I think, yeah, and a girl. The Girl on the Side. I think I featured that one as one that I want to read from my shelves a couple weeks ago. Um, but this one has to possibly do with mental illness. Uh, it's kind of vague on the back if that's really what it is, but um, I'm excited for this one. And the last one I'm excited for is Try Not to Breathe. That's by Jennifer R. Hubbard, and she wrote The Secret Year. Uh, that was her debut novel. So this is her sophomore book, her second book published. And I'm really excited for this one because this is a book that helps to inspire my sophomore reading challenge, which is on my blog. Um, you can uh, join that challenge. It's just to read 10 sophomore novels in 2012, the ones that are published in 2012. And that's any second book published by an author. So um, Courtney Moulton's Wings of the Wicked, which is Angel Fire number 2, that one qualifies. Phantom 3 qualifies. Uh, it, it can be a standalone, a series, a companion, a start to a new series, um, anything like that, as long as there's, it's their second published book. Um, so, like, Susie and Young's uh, A Want So Wicked does not count because she wrote The Naughty List before she started writing that series, if that makes sense. So it just has to be the second book that they published. Um, yeah, so you can join that on my blog. I have a Goodreads list that shows a lot of examples of those sophomore books and trying to compile you know, like a master list, and I'll link that below so you can see if you want to join. It is Thanksgiving week this week if you're in the U.S., so I hope you guys all have a great holiday weekend, or at least eat something good on Thursday, even if it's not a full Thanksgiving dinner. 
Uh, yeah, and I will see you guys next week. I hope you have a great weekend.